The Ghana Cancer Board is advocating the retraining of community health nurses to enable them to identify symptoms of the disease. The board is of the view the nurses are better in place to reach hard communities to help identify, diagnose and manage cases. A report by Beatrice Pugabra. Cervical cancer is a type of cancer in the cells of the cervix, the lower part of the uterus which connects to the vagina. Sexually transmitted infection, known as a human papilloma virus or HPV, plays a major role in causing most cervical cancers. It is the second killer of women after breast cancer. An estimated 3,000 women are diagnosed annually in Ghana. Just like most cancers, there are no early signs and symptoms, but women are to report any abnormal bleeding, offensive and discolored discharges and pelvic pain to the hospital for immediate medical attention. Though preventable and curable if detected early, health authorities are worried. Women often report late to the hospital when nothing can be done to save their lives. This has been attributed mainly to lack of awareness on the disease and access to screening opportunities. Community health nurses who are all over should be re trained because they are used to doing the vaccination for the babies but they are not used to doing breast screening for example or doing cervical cancer screening if we are able to do this we will reduce the number of women dying prematurely from these two female cancers breast and cervical the low attention given to non-communicable diseases is a major source of worry to the board. We had been looking at the communicable diseases, uh, HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, malaria. I'm not saying those diseases are not important. They are very important. But we've been looking in one direction for too long. Whilst the other diseases that I mentioned, the non-communicable diseases, are killing a lot of people. Screening should be made easily accessible and for women aged 20 years and above to screen. Dr. Beaches Rafi Adai wants government to make screening easily accessible to women aged 20 and above at health centers and CHIPS compounds. We should look at the systems well and provide the equipment. Some are not even equipments, they are just um, consumables that you need to provide. And so if the government can provide these um, consumables to the cheap compounds and to the community-based uh, centers, so that the woman will not have to travel long distances before they can get the screening.